and start the record. So, so, okay, welcome back. Let's continue. Unit four, uh, vocabulary and grammar focus. The first one, the difference between travel, journey, and trip. How to structure sentences using these three different words. In Arabic, they may have the same meaning in Arabic, but in English, quite different. There is quite, okay. uh, they are a little bit different, right? So exam candidates often make mistakes with travel, journey, and trip. Choose the correct option in italics. Let's okay. do this together, you know, the first one. I often go on business journeys or trips. Uh, trips. Business trips, right. Business trips may be short. Type, I'd love to win a trip or a journey to Australia and stay in a five-star hotel. Uh, general. You will see. The last summer we tripped. Well, I traveled around my country. Uh, traveled? Tra tra yes. Traveled. Traveled, traveled around my country. I've, I've just got back from holiday. It was a wonderful travel. Wonderful or a trip. 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 I'm really afraid of flying, so I often get very nervous about the travel or journey. A journey. Type about the travel, but you will see. Here, okay. look at above. Now let's read this. Okay, read this. Then okay. let's look at our answers. Read the the okay. definition of each one of them. After that, check your answers. Okay. Read it please carefully with your eyes. The noun travel. Yeah, read with your eyes. Read with your eyes. No need to read, read to read loudly. Okay. Well, I've done. Uh, yes, I have done, teacher. Hey, now double check. So we use travel uh, as a general word, which means yes. which means activity of traveling. Like what air travel? Yani air travel. And also you can use it as an as a verb to make a journey. I travel abroad a lot. To travel may be a noun or verb. Type journey. 
when you travel from one place to another. So he fell asleep during the tra train journey. Oh, train journey. Right? Did you have a good journey when you travel from place to another? Yes. Um, uh, so journey only noun. And it means moving from place to another. Type trip. A journey. A trip is a journey. A trip is a journey. Which is. Uh, which you visit a place for a short time. And come back again. Means a business trip. A three day trip. If, if you have a, low, a short trip. Or a short time. Visit, say, trip, not journey. Leave? Yes, dear. Let's go back again. Number one. Are you correct? Uh, yes. So business trips. Yes. Uh -huh. Business trips. Yes. Finish. Uh, I'd love to win a trip or a journey to Australia and stay in a five-star hotel. Uh, in general, right? Journey. 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 Journey means traveling to a place. Uh -huh. Yes. Journey means about when you travel from one place to another. Yes. Yeah, a journey from the Mam to Riyadh. From the Mam to Riyadh, then send me a journey. Yes. He's like in a place and he wants to yeah. go to Australia. A trip. He wants a trip, not journey. My listen to only to Australia. If a trip, not journey. Really? So I'd love to win a trip to Australia and stay in. It's a short. It's a short. Oh. You know, it's a short. Right? Type last yes. summer we traveled. This correct. We traveled. Okay, now what? Okay. Yes. I just got back from holiday. It was a wonderful travel or trip. A wonderful trip. Is it right? Sure, sure, yes. Not uh, travel. Type. Next. I'm really afraid of flying, so I often get very nervous about the... The travel. No. Journey. Why? But it's not a uh, uh, journey. Mm. Uh, general, uh, general. It's not from place to place. You mean? Yes, G general teacher. Air travel. You mean air travel? I'm really afraid of flying, so I'm often I often get very nervous about the travel. Nervous at the travel. You mean air travel here? You mean air travel? Yes. Yes. Air travel, yes, air travel, yeah. So means air travel. Okay, no one. So please. The answer um, is travel journey. We travel, yes. Actually, it may Five both, percent. but travel the right one because he mean here the air travel, fly. Yes. So air travel, air travel like this, air travel. Like this one. Type. Uh, would you like to travel around the world? Yes. Where would you like to go? Class finished. Type. Uh, the next one, Nawaf. Here, let's start with the first grammar focus of imperative superlative adjectives. I think this one easy for you, Nawaf. We already explained uh, the difference between between comparative yeah. and superlative. Superlative. And how can you structure comparative adjectives and uh, Right? Okay. Yes. And I told you we have uh, two types of uh, adjectives, short adjective and the long adjective. Short like what? Like long, longer. Big, bigger. Yes. Good, better. ER. Just write ER, except we have three irregular adjectives, good, bad, and the far. Bad, right? we say badly, right? Or badly, yeah. Bad, bad, no, worse, bad, worse. Worse, yes, sorry. 
Yeah, the population of Canada is larger than the population of Tokyo. The population yes. of Canada is larger than the population of Tokyo. Right? So here, yes. Canada, I'm comparing between the population of Canada and the population of Tokyo. Two, <clears throat> as you see, right? Or two countries, so yes. larger than. Like, what about super Latvian awards? The so longest the country in the world, exactly. And you, you should be aware how to structure superlative, how to define this superlative. You know, yes. here, uh, Brazil. Brazil is the longest country in the world. So here, Brazil, one country, against all the other countries around the world. Yes. Right? Type. Can you please com co complete this? Yeah. Please, regular. Uh, I hey, think uh... right. comparative superlative. Complete this table, please, Allah. I give you two minutes. Deeper? Two minutes. Okay. Deep, deeper, yes, deeper than the deepest. Yes, you are right. And be careful. Noisy. Change Y into I and write E R. Okay. Waf, are you done? I just finished the comparative, but the superlative, uh, I start it now. Right. Uh, one is deep here. Deeper. Uh, two is deeper. Deep. Uh, just write two, ER, saver. deeper. Yes, uh, saver. Safer. And the noiser. Uh, I E R, right? Exactly. Noises. And a bigger double G. Perfect. Double G. And biggest again and double G. Yes. Bad. Type. Worse. Bad. Bad. Better. Worse. Good. Good. Sorry. Good. Here, beautiful. More beautiful. The most beautiful. The most beautiful. Here. Type. Uh, good. Better. The best, right? Bad, yeah. worse. Uh, worse, worst. worst. Worst, yes, worst. Far, further, further. Yes, the furthest. Mm -hmm. Here, far, you can write AR or UR, both are right. More, the most, less, the least. Okay? Uh, more, what, what is it? More, the most. Less, the least. Does this make sense? Uh, just, I will write the superlative. Yes, please, quickly. Right? Okay. So, now, please exercise for you, Noah. Underline the correct, uh, uh, underline and correct the mistake in each sentence. Quickly, please, you have... Uh, Number one. Okay. 
it's more safe than cities. Is it correct? Well, it's more safe. More no, safe. Say yes. It's safer. Uh, safer, safer. Safer, ah. yes, safer. Drop, drop more. And write safer. Uh, more. Uh, drop more. More Just write than. Safer. Uh, yes. Drop more, you know what? Plus, they'll save short adjective. No need to use more. We only okay. use more with long adjectives, as you know. Right? Yes. Right, two. That, that's the worst joke I ever heard in my life. Worst. So that's that. Worst. Worst. Worst, yes. Right. Uh, the biggest market in Europe. Double G. Yes, double G plus ESP. Right, next. Portugal is the hottest country I ever have visited. Hottest, double T again. Double double T? Double T plus ESD. Hottest. Like big, biggest. Right, more quiet. Huh? More quiet. Mm. Quieter. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, drop more and write quieter. Right? Type tall. Yes. Taller. Here is spelling mistake. Taller. Okay, now what? Okay. So I think this is okay for you. Can you complete the biggest, the fastest? Uh, complete statement with comparative superlative from ABC. Yes. I think we need to listen to, to check. But let's listen and do it directly, you know what? Right? Ready? Yes. Yeah, listen and complete, please. Do you want, teacher, do you want me to finish it and then I will tell you? Or? No, no, we'll do it together. Listen, listen and answer. Okay. Unit four, listen. grammar, exercise seven. And here are the answers to the quiz. We all know that Asia is the biggest continent in the world, followed by Africa. But did you know that North America... Serena so Wolf, can you please write the superlative or comparative then? You will listen and answer the questions. So just write the correct adjective here. Big, bigger. Okay. Right? Yes. Uh, what is the largest? What is dangerous creature in the world? Huh? Put, uh, ESC what? or uh... No, no, no. The most the most dangerous. Because this is a long adjective. What is the most yes. dangerous? The, the long we put the most. The most or the least. Type next. Yes, An African elephant is then a be then comparable to superlative. Uh, where for? Yes. Uh, uh no. Uh... Uh, comparative. Comparative, so lighter than. The, a whole monkey is than. Uh, noise. Noiser than. A noiser, noiser. Type six. Comparative. What is fish in the world? Uh, this, the this, uh, EST. The slowest. Yes. Right there at the beginning and EST at the end. Right. Great white sharks are then. Then. Uh, compar comparative. So faster, faster than. Right. Eight. Train station in the world. 
superlative. The busiest, yes. Nine. Deep pool, uh, in, deep in diving pool yes. in the pool. Uh, EST. The deepest. ما تنساش ال ES ذا في الأول ينور. Right? طيب the last one. Antarctica is uh, then. Uh, uh, huh. Comparative. Yes, comparative. Now listen and choose the right answer. Ready? Yes. Yeah, listen and check the right answers for each question. America is the third largest continent in the world. This means that it's bigger than South America. And of course, at 17 million square kilometers, Russia is the largest country in the world. That's twice the size of Canada, which is the second largest country. Mm. And now for the animal facts. The most dangerous animal on the planet is not the snake or the shark, but the tiny mosquito, because it carries diseases. The African elephant can weigh up to 8,000 kilos, so it is the largest and heaviest land animal. But the blue whale is the heaviest living animal. It can weigh around 150 tons. That's 150,000 kilos. I wouldn't like to share my home with a howler monkey. They're much louder than parrots or lions. In fact, they are the noisiest animals on Earth. You can hear them from up to five kilometers away. The slowest moving fish is the seahorse. It would take this fish about an hour to move 15 meters. As for the fastest fish, Tuna are one of the fastest fish. Some tuna can swim at 80 kilometers per hour, while killer whales can swim at 55 kilometers per hour. Great white sharks can swim at 40 kilometers per hour, so they're faster than dolphins, which can swim at 30 kilometers per hour. You've got some answers about places, haven't you, Abby? Yes, I have. Did you know that the busiest train station in the world is in Tokyo, Japan? Around one million people travel through Shinjuku Station every day. And if you like diving, then you should go to Y40 Deep Joy in Italy. Its deepest point is nearly 40 meters, which makes it the deepest diving pool in the world. And finally, Antarctica is the coldest, driest, and windiest continent. On the 21st of July, 1983, the temperature was minus 89 degrees centigrade. That's the lowest temperature ever. And it only rains or snows 200 millimeters a year there. The second driest continent is Australia, where it rains 600 millimeters a year. And that's all for now. Okay. Nawaz? Yes, teacher. Listen again to double check. Yes, okay. Unit 4. Grammar. Exercise 7. And here are the answers to the quiz. We all know that Asia is the biggest continent in the world, followed by Africa. But did you know that North America is the third largest continent in the world? This means that it's bigger than South America. And of course, at 17 million square kilometers, Russia is the largest country in the world. That's twice the size of Canada, which is the second largest country. Hmm. And now for the animal facts. The most dangerous animal on the planet is not the snake or the shark, but the tiny mosquito, because it carries diseases. The African elephant can weigh up to 8,000 kilos, so it is the largest and heaviest land animal. But the blue whale is the heaviest living animal. 
It can weigh around 150 tons. That's 150,000 kilos. I wouldn't like to share my home with a howler monkey. They're much louder than parrots or lions. In fact, they are the noisiest animals on Earth. You can hear them from up to five kilometers away. The slowest moving fish is the seahorse. It would take this fish about an hour to move 15 meters. As for the fastest fish, tuna are one of the fastest fish. Some tuna can swim at 80 kilometers per hour, while killer whales can swim at 55 kilometers per hour. Great white sharks can swim at 40 kilometers per hour, so they're faster than dolphins, which can swim at 30 kilometers per hour. You've got some answers about places, haven't you, Abby? Yes, I have. Did you know that the busiest train station in the world is in Tokyo, Japan? Around one million people travel through Shinjuku Station every day. And if you like diving, then you should go to Y40 Deep Joy in Italy. Its deepest point is nearly 40 meters, which makes it the deepest diving pool in the world. And finally, Antarctica is the coldest, driest and windiest continent. On the 21st of July, 1983, the temperature was minus 89 degrees centigrade. That's the lowest temperature ever. And it only rains or snows 200 millimeters a year there. The second driest continent is Australia where it rains 600 millimetres a year. That's all for now. Okay, now what? Are you done? Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, so double check, please. So the first one is South uh, America. Sea, South America. The second one, Russia. Uh, Russia. Yeah, three. The mosquito. Uh, B, the mosquito. mosquito. Yes, the most dangerous animal or creature yes. in the world. Type uh, four. Uh, uh, blue whale. Blue whale, yes. Five parrot. Uh, five is a lion and a parrot. Yes. So a monkey, neither than a lion and a parrot, right? Yes. Not only a parrot? Both of them. Okay. okay. So the next one? Uh, A. Six A. The seahorse. The seahorse is the slowest animal. Type the next one uh, faster than uh, a dolphins. Tuna. Great white sharks a. are than dolphins, right? No, teacher. A. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I'm definitely sure. Actually, I heard dolphins, but uh... listen again, teacher. Yeah, why not? Type. Uh, okay, uh, no okay, only number. Uh... Seven, huh? Only seven. Yeah. Right. The next one? Uh, C, Tokyo. Tokyo, yeah. Nine. Uh, Italy. And ten? A, Australia. Australia, Australia, right. So now listen yes. again to seven, double check seven only. Okay. Great white sharks can swim at 40 kilometers per hour. Did you know that the busiest train station in the world is in Tokyo, Japan? Around one million people travel through Shinjuku Station every day. Yeah. And if you like diving, then you should go to Y40 Deep Joy in Italy. Its deepest point is nearly 40 meters, which makes it the deepest diving pool in the world. And finally, Antarctica is the coldest the busiest train station in the world. fish. Some. As for the fastest fish, tuna are one of the fastest fish. Some tuna can swim at 80 kilometers per hour, while killer whales can swim at 55 kilometers per hour. Great white sharks can swim at 40 kilometers per hour, so they're faster than dolphins, which can swim at 30 kilometers per hour. 
Mm. You've got some. Have you heard of Peter? Yes, dolphins. No, so he great. say tuna is faster than dolphins because the tuna. I, I think I heard uh, eighty uh, kilometers. But and the dolphins question, thirty. But the question is: Great white sharks are dolphins. I'm asking not tunas. As uh, great white sharks are faster than dolphins. Here, listen again. <laughs> 55 kilometers per hour. Great white sharks can swim at 40 kilometers per hour, so they're faster than dolphins. Okay. Okay, yes, yes, I understand. So that. they're faster than dolphins. Is it clear okay, now? Yeah, sorry. Yes. Yeah, it's okay, no problem. Hey, Nawab, this is the... the uh, here, please go to page... Uh, 100, 124, uh, yes, 100, okay. just okay. I give you further practice for comparative and superlative, right, this one, okay, and please complete uh, practice two, yes, Bad worse is the worst, good better the best, far further or further. Just to please complete practice one and two. Yes, let's go together. Okay. Thin, thinner, the thinnest, yes. the thinnest, right? The thinnest. What about nice? <clears throat> Nicer, right? Lazier, lazier. Where, where is that? 145. 124, sorry. 124. 124. Yes, I opened it. It told me the wrong uh, page. So lazy? Yes. Comfortable? Uh, Right, more comfortable. More confront, uh, comfortable and uh, more Good. comfortable. Better than the best. Bad. Best. Uh, worse. Worse and than uh, the main further, right? Yes, please oh, put yes. in a while. In, in three minutes, please uh, answer two. Use comparative or superlative this practice. Teacher, uh, number yes. one, uh, number mm -hmm. one, I don't know, it's comparative or superlative. Look, it rained every day in December in Portland, USA. It was December for 70 years, so super Latin. So it was the wettest. Wettest. But he told me about two things. It's super Latin. Yes. It's not super Latin, exactly. So it it was the wettest. December. Yeah, and it can after matter measure for sure. Okay. It was the wettest December for 70 years. Type two, some people think that Sydney Opera House is modern is modern it, in the world. It's the most beautiful. Exactly, the most beautiful. Type a blue whale is than an elephant. What? Uh, heavier. Exactly. I felt ill all weekend, but I am much now. I am much better now. Right? Yes. Much better than now. That the writer's new book is... Huh? Worse than... Uh, worse. Worse, worse, worse yes. than because then you need comparative. 
طيب yes. uh, we moved we have moved house now we live from my office than uh, we used uh, farther than yes exactly farther than okay now so what did you study today we studied today reading part one yes. and uh, grammar and vocabulary grammar uh, comparative and superlative adjectives and yes. uh, vocabulary, enjoy, travel, and uh, trip. Exactly. So, inshallah, in our next 